you know, it's 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 been coming more to the public's awareness the issue that's happening with uh, Palestine and Israel right now, um, and like I was already you know getting like invested and worked up over that, but um, then you hear something like this happens here in Burlington. Um, so that just like adds a whole new layer of like, yes, I knew there were people who um, like indulged in that hatred for Palestinians and like kind of didn't have the right, right mindset about things. But then to see that um, something like that, like is actually happening here as well. I mean, the same as that. It is definitely disappointing. Um, we're both from Vermont, so we've kind of known what it's like to live in a progressive and inclusive state for the most part our entire lives. And um, I'm from a rural place in Vermont, so being in Burlington, I'm even more ex expecting of community togetherness and support for people who are oppressed. And it is definitely disappointing. I, I'm really honored to be here. I'm, I'm grateful to have, have been able to participate in this. I think this is a very important demonstration of the fact that it is uh, solidarity and, and community uh, and, and love that really defines this place, Burlington, far more than this terrible, terrible thing that we're all here uh, expressing sorrow about and sadness about. You know, I think it's great that folks are coming out uh, to reflect and to offer support to the families and the young men that were so brutally attacked. And it's time for all of us to just remember that uh, Burlington is not immune from hatred and violence. And we need to say enough's enough. Uh, uh, you know, I'm just overcome by emotions of feeling appalled and horrified and sickened by the violence that's taken place initially in, in, in against the Israelis, then in Gaza, where far too many people have been killed, and now in Burlington. Hopefully, we can work towards a peaceful end to this violence. Um, I have always been under the impression that Burlington is a very accepting and safe place for everyone. And this past weekend showed that we need to make some more improvements in that area. Um, and it's nice to see people coming together for vigils and protests over the last month. Um, but more definitely needs to be done. It is important for and crucial during these times for our community where such instances like a shooting takes place for us to come together and show that we are not in support of that and that we're going to be doing something about it. Um, but more needs to be done above community scale support and it comes with awareness and education and vigils and protests like this to show that we hear you and we see things that are happening and we're aware of it and something's going to be done and that there's support. Um, well said. I, I completely agree with all of the points you made. I think, um, you know, we hear time and time again, I think a big phrase of the Burlington community is you know, hate has no home here. And while that's true, I think, you know, hate does exist in all parts of the world and in all corners of the world, even in Burlington. And it's very important that we use the privilege that we have as Americans, that we use the privilege that we have as educated college students and as people with voices um, to not only speak out about situations of injustice and, and violence, but also, um, you know, words only go so far and I think that actions are even more important. So, you know, just like Lucia said, attending protests, vigils, marches, calling and contacting your local representatives and voting for change is I think the most important thing we can do and we are very saddened to know that there was such a um, violent and awful situation in our you know, community.